Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah we have reached day number 13 in our daily Quran reading challenge By the way it's uh, Friday the 13th So a reminder to everyone that for Muslims we don't believe in any of that superstitious stuff about you know Friday the 13th being a bad day or something like that we don't uh, we don't and we should not believe in any of this as Muslims uh, and um, whatever happens of good or bad in this or any other day is uh, by Allah's divine decree and uh, this day is no different this this day Friday the 13th it's no different than for example I don't know Tuesday the 17th or whatever so keep that in mind uh, because even you know even in the West where people are so non-religious in my country as well Estonia for example there's a lot of people who believe in that they're like you know maybe not some of them they, they don't even like do any big things they don't like for example go on a travel they don't maybe uh, go on a journey on this day the Friday the 13th or so we as Muslims we don't believe in any of that so uh, back to our main thing uh, the Quran reading we have um, Surah, Surah Al Balad, and we're gonna also do the next one, uh, Surah the Shims, because we're reaching those uh, smaller ones, uh, shorter surahs. Inshallah, it's also gonna be easier for those who are not maybe used to reading the longer ones. So, Alhamdulillah, let's go. A'udhu billahi min rajim بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا أقسم بهذا البلد وأنت حل بهذا البلد ووالد وما ولد لقد خلقنا الإنسان في كبد أيحسب أن لن يقدر عليه أحد يقول أهلكت مالا لبدا أيحسب أن لم أيحسب أن لم يره أحد ألم نجعل له عينين ولسانه وشفتين وهديناه النجدين فلقت حمل عقبه وما أدراك ما العقبة فك رقبة أو إطعام في يوم ذي مسغبة يتيما ذا مقربة أو مسكينا ذا متربة ثم كان من الذين آمنوا وتواصوا بالصبر وتواصوا بالمرحمة أولئك أصحاب الميمنة والذين كفروا بآياتنا هم أصحاب المشأمة عليهم نار مؤصدة And now سورة الشمس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وضحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والنهار إذا جلاها 
والليل إذا يغشاها والسماء وما بناها والأرض وما ضحاها ونفس وما سواها فألهمها فجورها وتقواها قد أفلح من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها كذبت ثمود بطرواها إذ بعث أشقاها فقال لهم رسول الله ناقة الله وسقياها فكذبوه فعقروها فدمدرا فدمدم عليهم ربهم بذنبهم فسواها ولا يخاف عقباها الحمد لله we have finished today's part and سبحان الله uh, today happened something similar that happened uh, yesterday uh, one brother also commented uh, on one of the videos and he mentioned the importance of good company in trying to build a good deed a good habit and subhanallah this is so true and this is something we also every now and then need to reflect upon uh, like the people we surround ourselves with like yeah we can't really choose our family but we can uh, choose our friends and people we hang around with we spend our time with so also take a look at your circle of friends if all of your friends are encouraging you to do good deeds and they are also reading the quran for example and they are praying their five daily prayers and they're encouraging you to maybe come to an islamic lecture and they're sending you uh, some islamic uh, content uh, that boosts your iman etc then alhamdulillah it's it's great to be surrounded with people and friends like that but on the other hand if your friends uh, don't really support you with your islamic uh, deeds and your good deeds and all they care about is the dunya and uh, talking about things of no importance and they don't uh, encourage you to read the quran maybe they don't even pray their five daily prayers and and you know it's it's difficult for you to maybe even practice your religion around them or you feel that you can't really talk like you know as much as you would like to about islam or you know maybe something you would love to share that really inspired you uh some some hadith that you found out and you just feel that you know maybe it's not the best to share with them because you know they they didn't really care about it so if you have these friends that don't help you or even worse maybe some of them they have some bad habits that can also affect you uh, maybe some of the things they watch or they listen to is is not what a Muslim should watch or listen to so you know maybe this bad habit can also affect you and and uh, this is where you need to really decide uh, whether you want to be around them or and whether you should be around them and I don't mean that you need to like ditch all of your friends who who are not maybe practicing Islam as much as you are maybe you can encourage them to also practice more and and uh, maybe leave some of their bad habits and build some good habits but you can definitely limit the time you spend with them especially if you don't have any of those friends who who are actually encouraging you to practice Islam then maybe it's time to try and find companions friends who really help you with practicing your religion who encourage you to seek more knowledge and and do more good deeds so you can maybe try to find 
new people into your life maybe maybe from the masjid maybe try to join some uh, islamic course uh, where you find uh, people like that in like ideally in your local area uh, with your local masjid maybe uh, find people there uh, if that's not possible maybe uh, enroll in some islamic course online uh, where you can also find people like that or just uh, just some like islamic groups online groups that that uh, you know have such people that encourage each other try to be uh, part of these groups so alhamdulillah with the, the nowadays opportunities uh, there's so much available for us even if we can't maybe meet uh, our like you know practicing friends daily at least try to keep in touch with them and uh, and this will inshallah help you also in building your own good habits or, or staying firm upon your deen uh, opposed to you know what uh, would be the case if all of your friends around you uh, only care about the dunya and they don't really have much concern about Islam and practicing uh, the deen so that's uh, that's a little, little reminder again to myself first and foremost and to everyone who's watching this video uh, may Allah bless you see you tomorrow inshallah in the next video Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh